Welcome to Thousand Trails Gateway to Cape Cod. We're in Massachusetts. The entrance into the Gateway to Cape Cod. When you pull up to the gate, there's a little station there, but it's usually empty. You will stop and you will pick up the walkie talkie and buzz into the ranger station and they will give you the gate code to get in. Cute little store and office. And this is where you check in once you come through the gate. So it's absolutely gorgeous here. Lots of trees, looks very rugged. Great camping site. Roads are a little bit rough and they do stir up a little bit of dust. We are at site A25, which is pretty nice. There's several trees. They have a fire ring and we haven't changed around because we're only gonna be here for a few days. The sites have nice grills at them. The sites are pretty spacious. Here's our picnic table, but it is dusty here. When I look at the space between here and the grill, I can't help but think it's pretty roomy. We're gonna have to show you our site if you haven't seen it. That was in Wildwood, Florida that had just about like this much room. It felt like between our septic and someone else's picnic table. We'll link that up above. They have full 50, 30, 20 amp hookup here. We have water and sewer. And this one does have fuses, unlike last campground. And I can link that up there as well. Round out, love the campground. Not too sure I like plugging my 50 amp without any breakers. We didn't decorate up too much this time because we're only here for a few days, but we can't pass up a moment of sitting outside and enjoying the evening. Ooh, especially when you smell those grilled hamburgers. Oh man, maybe the steak. Oh, maybe I should take out the grill. You gotta love RVing. Last week, I was picking you pick vegetables in Upper State New York. This week, I'm headed out to check out Martha's Vineyard. We're at the New Bedford Ferry, headed to Martha's Vineyard. Taking the C Street to Martha's Vineyard. The line to get on the ferry. So I came up to the top of the C Street so we could see all the fishing boats and enjoy the beautiful view from the pen. Check out these fishing boats. I'm not sure if you can see the boat coming in between the wall. That's where we're headed. Oh. You check out the little lighthouse as we go out. but I think too much traffic for me to bring the car over. Beach, beautiful houses, lots of traffic. Glad we didn't bring the car over. If you're looking for something to do while well, you're staying at the gateway to Cape Cod, just 17 miles away, 30 minutes, you can get on a ferry and come on over to Martha's Vineyard. Spend the day or two and just enjoy the little island. Cool pier and plenty of beaches to enjoy the sunshine. Very touristy. There they go. Apparently this is where people come to jump off the bridge. The infamous area where they recorded the movie Jaws. So there are stickers on the pole here at Jaws Bridge and we added one more to it. beach on each side of Jaws Bridge. The Jaws Bridge is between Oak Bluff and Agritown in Martha's Vineyard. It has became famous after there were several scenes shot here from the film Jaws and now people come from all over and think it's an accomplishment to jump off the bridge. <laughs> this tickles me to death. 
I'm not sure why they don't take this line down. We're at Oak Bluffs where there are plenty of boats, restaurants, and houses that look like little gingerbread houses. Overlooking the water, how cool could that be? Very touristy with lots of cool shops, restaurants, and more. Find out. Lovely parks, beautiful homes, a lot of action going on. Today we are going to explore the gateway to Cape Cod. Here's their map. It's a pretty decent map. We're going to walk around and show you what it looks like. Welcome to the dog park. You can see where it's freshly been put in there. Check out this huge dog park. The dog park has a pet waste station, so clean up after that pet. They have the bags and the trash cans for you here. They have the little holding area where you can close the door, so if there's anybody in the park, they can't get out. It's pretty cool. And there are two sections. I think one for the smaller dogs and one for the larger dogs. That also, um, they have toys for agility as well. There's just something about these agility activities that are so cool. Fire hydrant. I wonder how many of those pups come out here and use that. They have benches inside the dog park, as well as brand new picnic tables outside of the dog park. I'm not sure what this is. Looks maybe like a place you can put your dog leash on. If you know, please put it in the comment section below. There is a volleyball net set up behind the dog park. Cape Cod does have a storage facility on site. So if you need to put your RV in storage, here's an option for you if you live in Massachusetts. No excuse not to pick up dog waste. They have plenty of bags throughout the park. You use the radio to check in with the office. They have a little kiosk where you can go in and see what's going on for the week and what activities are surrounding the area. Here's your office, trading post, and where you register. Camp stores in there as well. Not only is the map clearly marked, they have signs so you can't get lost here. You can get your propane filled right here. Not only do they have dumpsters throughout the campground, you can come to the front and recycle. I love campgrounds that recycle. Comfort station number one can be found right here at the front office. So comfort station number one at the office is not only a comfort station, but it is your bathrooms to the pool. As you can tell, the recreation center is embedded within the woods. The whole campground is embedded within the woods. And the recreation center is right across from the pool. They have a rock garden in front of the recreation center, so if you want to add your rock, bring it on up. So inside the rec room, you do have a, a game area. They have a nice couch if you want to veg out and just relax. A nice ping pong table. This is where the arts and crafts are. Okay. Movies, basketball, football, all the activity stuff. Oh, cool. And they just check that out through you or? Yes. Okay. Either me, if I'm not here, then um, you can go to the office. The cabins are really cute. They actually look like they're off in the woods. They come with a picnic table and some with a grill and fire pit. This grill looks like it's been well used in the last week or so. Check this out. They even have cool rocking chairs on the porch. I'm standing on the deck of the recreation area and you can look across to see the pool and the snack shack as well as the office. It's a nice pool with plenty of chairs, tables, umbrellas, loungers, and there's also a Thousand Trails member on duty. The pavilion right beside the pool. Chippy Snack Shack. I think this is what is for dinner tonight. It's a nice little playground right across from Chippy Snack Shack. Another view of the cute little playground. Beside the baseball diamond, is where you will find your horseshoes. They look like they have about two horseshoe pits. They also have bocce ball here. Right underneath the office, behind the pool, is your laundry center. Nice little setup. They have six 
dryers. They do um, take CSC, so be prepared to have your laundry card and do it with the laundry app. There are eight total washers, four on one side and four on the other side. Walk down Whitehorse Road, straight to the back, and you can find the boat dock. They have a picnic table here, as well as a trash can, so that you can come and picnic before um, heading out on the dock if you want to bring a canoe or a boat, perhaps even a kayak. There is plenty of room to turn around back here, so you can drive or walk. As you can see, there's some boats laying back here. So I see a ramp here, or a, a dock but not sure where you would put your boats in at. It's very beautiful out here. There is no swimming, but definitely a beautiful place to bring a cup of coffee, sit and meditate, and just enjoy the view. Mm, I see some cattails. Lots of cattails. So a nice little walkway out to the platform. Here's a little close-up of the cattails. They're pretty invasive, so once they start, they just kind of take over. Pickleball, basketball only. Do not bring your bikes or any other activities here. So this is a pretty big court. They have two basketball goals, as well as a tennis court and a pickleball court. There are a few comfort stations throughout the park. There are five bathroom stalls, three sinks and two makeup mirrors, and three showers. Showers do have a separate spot for you to hang up your clothes, dry off, I'll let you make your own decision on the shower. They have a nice tent site section. They have fire rings and grills and picnic tables. They do have a baseball field here. Okay. This is kind of cool when it's in season. This is a cranberry bog. There's sprinklers out there and you can see how it's kind of dipped down. So just a view of our fast food from Chippies. We have cheeseburger, sausage dog, onion rings, and fries. The fries are pretty good, aren't they, Fred? Delicious. These are bad for you. Do not eat these. I have to eat these. So we are bringing our rock and placing it in the rock garden. All right. Time for the Gateway to Cape Cod Cellular Service Report. Well, surprisingly, Verizon is there in full regalia. 15.1 megabits per second down, only 0.79 up, but basically that's all you're going to get. AT&T came in second place at 0.46 down, and uh, it held its own in the uploads at 0.75. But T-Mobile, nowhere to be found out in the middle of the woods. So, we hope you enjoyed it. We had a lot of fun there, and we think you will too. We'll see you next week.